Hi, I'm Katie from AAAE, and welcome to Airport Stuff You Should Know. On this episode, we're going to be covering runway basics. Have you ever wondered how and why airport runways are numbered? Aircraft take off into the wind, and runways are meant for bi-directional use. Runways are designated by their outbound magnetic headings to the closest 10 degrees. This means a runway's designator is its outbound numerical compass direction with the last number of the heading dropped. For example, this runway in our animation has an outbound magnetic heading of 90 degrees, which faces east. Drop the last number, a zero, and you are left with nine. The other end of nine is going to be 180 degrees in the opposite direction. So you drop the zero from 180 and add 18 to nine. The runway designator is 27, which faces west at 270 degrees. Since runways have two ends and are designated with two different sets of numbers, the rule for identifying a runway is to start with the smaller designator first and say each number individually. You identify this runway in our animation as 927 instead of 927. Parallel runways are identified as right, center, and left. Here at Manassas Regional Airport, they have two parallel runways identified as 16 right, 34 left, and runway 16 left. 3, 4, right. Hi there, I'm Allison. Airports use a lot of different markings and lights to safely identify where you are on the airfield. For example, despite all the asphalt you see around me, I can easily tell we're on a runway because the markings are white and the color of the lights. Let's go into more detail. Runway centerline markings are single dashed white lines painted on the center of a runway. Runway edge markings are single solid white lines showing the edges or limits of the runway's usable pavement. Aiming points are solid white rectangles located approximately 1,000 feet from the threshold on each side of the center line and serve as a visual aiming point for landing aircraft. Touchdown markings identify the area of runway intended to be used by landing aircraft for touchdown. As Katie explained earlier, runways are built for bi-directional use. Many runway lights are made with split lenses to show different colors to pilots operating aircraft in each direction. This means pilots using a runway for arrival in one direction see certain light colors facing them, while at the same location, pilots departing the runway from the opposite direction see a different set of light colors. Runway thresholds use split lenses and are red and green to express the beginning or end of the runway. Runway edge lights are white, except for the last 2,000 feet where they turn to yellow, indicating the runway end is nearing. There's a lot more to cover about runways. There's over 300 airports that use AAAE for training. If you'd like to join them, visit AAAE.org.